Hi, this is Maria. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And tonight I'd like to show you how to make this lovely little men's shirt card. It is so cute. Anyway, just to show you how small it is, here is the regular size one. So this is a real mini one. And I put it on a regular card, but you can make a card that is just the same size as this shirt and, and it could almost be a gift card. Anyway, I've decided to put it on a, on a regular A2 card. I'm going to put that aside. And I've made a little template to guide me uh, for how to measure and how to cut. It's not a die, so that makes it a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to bring out my supplies. I'm using the well-dressed designer paper. And for the demonstration, I'm going to use a different pattern. So we'll put that aside. And here's my supplies. I'm using more a Knight of Navy uh, pattern in the in the designer series paper. And this um, uh, basic white cardstock is embossed with the um, almost argyle embossing folder, which by the way is on is on sale right now the, for the end of the year sale. So take advantage of it while you can. All right, so we'll put that aside. And we're starting with a piece of four by four designer paper. I have a little strip here that will be used to go down the center of the card. And a little bow. Okay, and we're going to need a pencil and a ruler. We're also gonna need a trimmer and uh, I'll bring that out shortly. And I'm going to make the markings on the wrong side, which you can see is a little bit plainer and the pencil marks won't show. So I'm actually starting at the bottom of the, the card and I'm measuring in, here's the four by four, and I'm measuring in three quarters of an inch from either side and then I'm measuring up two and a half inches, and then I'm gonna trim that off. But I'm gonna make the marks first. Now, some of you, if you're really good with using the trimmer, you can go right to the trimmer. Just move that aside. Okay, so three quarters of an inch. I'll make a mark. Three quarters of an inch, and I'll make a mark. And then I'm going to go up two and a half inches which is right up here and two and a half inches up this side now if you like and i i do this a lot is i will just connect the dots and that'll provide me with i know you don't you can't see that very well the pencil doesn't show that well on this background Okay, so I have scored at three quarters of an inch at both ends, and then up, we're going to go up two and a half inches. Now, just bring in my trimmer. And what I've done is I ha was having a lot of difficulty reading the um, numbers on this uh, score thing. So what I did was I cut the bottom edge of the... Um, What's this called? Anyway, there's a ruler at the bottom. I just cut it off and I, I just adhered it to here and I can see that a little better. So I'm going to lay this. Okay, this is three, three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to go up to the two and a half inch mark, which is right here. Okay, turn it. And I'm going to go from, see, three quarters of an inch. And I've cut this out. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to go to three quarters of an inch. And now I can go right up to two and a half inches. And down. And turn it. And I'm at two and a half inches over here. And my little arrow here on my trimmer blade and score or cut. 
So now I have, I've got somewhat, it looks somewhat like a shirt, but not quite. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the sleeves and the collar. And to do that, again, I'll bring out my, my ruler. This is so I can hang my, my ruler up. And again, I'm using the three quarters of an inch from the top, three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch from the top. And I'm going to measure in one inch on both sides. Now all these measurements I'll put down on the uh, description on, on, the, uh, on the video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in, but I'm not going to cut down. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to put this so that I'm at the three quarter inch mark. And I'm going to put this, my trimmer blade at the one inch mark. Make sure this is straight and I'm going to cut. Okay, and I'll do the same on the other side, but this time I'll use the three quarter inch guide mark over on this side and one inch. This is four inches, so the one inch mark would be at three and trim that. And that is the only trimming. We now actually have the shirt, believe it or not. And now you have to make a decision. Are you going to use this side as your shirt or are you going to use this side as your shirt? And if you use this side, see, this is now the collar. Oops, I have to, that didn't cut. All right, I better make sure that that is cut. Okay. There we go. Okay. So to make the collar, oh, I see what I did. I cut this side twice. Wow, wasn't that lovely? Okay, I just trim that off with my scissors. Okay, here we go. Okay, so to make the collar, we just just cut, just bend these forward a little bit and meet at the middle. Okay, so we have a shirt that looks like this with a collar like this. I think I kind of look like this. What do you think? Okay, I'll just press that down a little bit. I'm going to get some glue dots and I'm going to hold that down. Bring my trusty pick tool. There. Now, for the sleeves, I can score these at, um, oh, I guess about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, I'll do that on both sides. And you can fold it in. Then I'll just take a little bit of Tombow glue I'll take my trimmer away now. Now I also uh, cut a little strip of designer paper, just an extra one. It's about a quarter of an inch and it's, it's probably, oh, okay, it's going to be about, um, Okay, it's about th three inches long. Okay, so I'm going to just add that there. Just put a little Tombow on there. Now I could have put that on before I, I put the collar down. Maybe if I can tuck it under there a little bit. There we go. This is the tab for the buttons. And I'll just trim this on the back. 
and now what I've got, I die cut some buttons, and when I die cut them, I put them right on a glue dot on my uh, glue, glue dot holder. So I'll just take some buttons, and there's one. I think I'll put five on. Um, uh, I suppose I could measure, but I think I'm just going to be brave. <laughs> Okay, I think that's going to work. There we go. Now, I also cut a little extra little strip for uh, to make a faux pocket. It's just something, a little, a little strip of pattern paper, of designer paper. And well, I was going to say, where did my Tombow glue go? put that on right there. And now to put it on the card, okay, we've got the basic white, which has been embossed already. We have, and this time I made a Knight of Navy card base. And we're going to add it. Oh, I like to put it at an angle this way, that way, it doesn't matter. So we'll just add this first. at an angle be nice and now for I made this a birthday card and this uh, stamp is from the stamp set it's a happy birthday to you and I used markers to stamp it so I have a knight of navy and a poppy parade marker and basically what I did was I just colored the top and the bottom with knight of navy and the birthday with Poppy Parade. And I just huffed it and stamped it. And I stamped the birthday twice. And I, I just use scraps for this, okay? This as long as it fits somewhere. Okay. And then with a pair of scissors, I would cut out birthday. And then I used um, a stitched oval die and die cut it. Here we go. I die cut it with the stitched oval die. And I trimmed the other birthday and put some dimensionals behind it. Here's my die cut one and then just and then with a little bit of Tombow Add this to the side and then I made um, a little bow with the baker's twine that goes with the um, um, with this with the uh, bundle and ah, here it is I was looking for the glue dots and they were right in front of my nose okay and I'll put it right there Okay. And all you have to do now is put some basic white on the inside. And I probably should have stamped the sentiment 
first. What I'm using is this stamp from the Happy Thoughts stamp set. Oh, here it is. The Happy Thoughts stamp set. And I'm going to Okay, I haven't, I forgot. Okay, I was so proud of myself that I thought I had brought everything I needed for the video and I made it all the way to the end and I had left my ink pad in the other room. So here I'm just going to test the stamp because I just re-inked. Okay, that'll work. I didn't want it to be too inky, if you know what I mean. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. I love that sentiment. So there we have a lovely little shirt card. This was the sample that I started with. And let me show you some other little shirts that I made with some of the other designer paper. You ready? Okay, there's one, isn't that as cute? Oh, they're so cute. There you go. So here you have five different five different little shirts. So thank you for watching.